Yo. What is up, suck mother lovers? You ain't a factor this season. Be honest. I'm sorry. Hey, suck mother lovers, how y'all doing? Oh my gosh, let's get right into this. Basketball wise, Miami slash New York is back. Full of drama. Hello, what did y'all expect? It opens somewhat kind of sort of where we we are meeting Miss Keisha. Now, you know what? Right off, I feel like Keisha with a little country accent. She is more country than me. And y'all already know that is hard to do. But that baby is something hillbilly and country. And it was funny because as it went on, somebody actually said that I think. I don't even remember who. But she is country. But I don't know. I just have a feeling that between something and even before I saw the previews, I was like, she talked too much. Somebody's going to get her. I'm not sure who, but she got a lot of opinions. And somebody's going to get her before they see the confessional. Mark my word, boo-boo. Mark my word. I really thought it was so big of Royce when she told the girls... I'm going to let you form your own opinion. Because sometimes you ain't even got to talk. It's just kind of like when your product is what it is. It's just like, you know what? Try my stuff. It's good. And I think for Roy, she was kind of like, I ain't got to say nothing. You going to learn on your own real fast what these girls about. No tea. No shade. I loved so much. Like, y'all know I love me some Tammy. That girl is crazy and full of drama. Sometimes she get a little psycho, but you got to love Tammy. But I just love when Tammy met Ev, you know, and they was like, hey, girl, you look like you went to, girl. What's up with you and Jen? She went right into it. She didn't waste no time. For what? We're getting too old. Why are we going to sit there and have small talk? Let's get right to it, girl. What's tea? I need to know what's going on with y'all. <laughs> Only Tammy. Like, nobody else could do that but Tammy. <sighs> Thuthy, thuthy, thuthy. Y'all, we are back with dealing with that girl again this season. You would think after the last couple of seasons she had learned her lesson about keeping her mouth shut. Uh-uh. Here she goes, still talking stuff. I'm curious. Maybe I missed it. Did y'all hear when Jen said that she wanted to make amends with uh, Royce? Because I missed that part. I didn't hear her saying that at all. But here go matchmaker Susie. Susie, somebody going to slap the shit out of you this season. I went on and said that we're not going to bleep that out. Somebody going to slap you this season. If they don't, somebody needs to at least just like Kevin Hart. Y'all know I do. I do. Somebody made a comment about that. I do love Kevin Hart. But somebody just need to pluck on the top of her forehead. Just real good. Just shut her up. Maybe get rid of her lisp. That's probably she was talking about how she give good brain and stuff. That's probably where you got that list for. You need to keep objects, uh, foreign objects out your mouth, girl. That's your problem. Nasty. It was crazy because as soon as Susie met Keisha, she immediately started spilling the tea. The girl couldn't even eat her sauce and pasta or whatever she was eating without here goes Susie. I mean, because the girls, because this and that and immediately Keisha was already getting defensive. Like, well, I mean, I mean, I mean, <sighs> Just let these people find out for their own. But here you go. You always want to be Miss Messy Little Susie. That's why they keep you around us. I guess everybody got to have a have their role on the show, right? It sucks, though, to see what's going on with Jen and Evan. It sucks that we're going to get to see this unfold on camera. Because, dang, like, they had 10, 14, 15 years of friendship. And it made me get emotional thinking about my best friend, one of my best friends since the age of three. Like, seriously, like, that's been my best friend since the age of three. And just to imagine that we could possibly, like, that would hurt my little feelings. Like, that's a long time to be friends with somebody and just say, kapoop, over. But I guess it's certain buttons that you just push, boom, you out of here, boo. None. None mother sucking back. That's what you are. For real. Yeah, I think I could do it. You do something. I don't know if a blog would make me do that, but certain things could definitely make me be like, I ain't going to be able to do it with you no more. We can't. Tammy, boy, I tell you, I promise y'all, Tammy's about to be that little piece this season. Tammy didn't even, she didn't even wait no time. That girl, like, I, Royce hit the nail on the head. That baby didn't even get to sip her tea good before she said, so are you white? <laughs> But it, hey, it was the pink elephant in the room. We was all wanting to know what were you because she did sound like a hillbilly. But she kind of looked black. Her edges look a little black. I, we can't figure it out. I ain't really. I'm still. The jury is still out for me. But it was crazy how they all called Jen Bougie. Jen, you didn't catch your memo that you bougie? Like you already talked with your mouth kind of side, girl. That's bougie number one. She got them little red gloves. I did want them gloves, though. I need them in my life. I need the knockout versions, though. So if somebody see them at Walmart or something, let me know. <laughs> Tammy, I'm telling y'all, seriously. Tammy went from meeting with Keisha 
and what's the other girl named Kenya, Kendra, whatever. I don't, I don't even know her name, but the other girl, she went from meeting them and went right to Jean and Susie to see my dog almost fell out the window and went right to Ju uh, uh, Jean and Susie to see their opinion. And it was so funny because <laughs> Susie was like, I mean, they cool. They cool to me. And the minute she found out that they had an issue with her, and she was like, well, forget them. They stupid anyway. I'm trying to give them some tips. What makes you think that somebody want to learn how to give some type of brain while they had dinner? You need to have some type of manner, Susie. But y'all know Tammy on the call, cool, she messy. But y'all know Tammy, she ain't gonna say nothing, she can't repeat. So she has no problem with saying, I said it and what. Ain't now I'm them gonna say nothing to her. I cannot stand when somebody just came in up on what's going on. Jen, 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 Jen. You telling me that you did not see what that girl was writing on that blog? You know you wrote that blog, but you know it's so easy just to say your publicist wrote it. Whatever the case, you really made yourself look dumb when you sit there talking about that you didn't see it or whatever. Like, I'm sorry, but they said it best. If your publicist is writing stuff like this for you, you need to fire her. Tell me, I was on the yacht sipping champagne. Girl, you were sipping champagne approving them blogs. You know you were. Girl, laptops travel, boo. We know, we know the tea. You just didn't want to own up to that because you know uh, Evelyn was going to punch you in your nose. It's going to happen this season anyway, so you might as well let it just happen now. My feelings were so hurt when Evelyn looked her dead in her face and called her an effing retard. Can you say that on national television? That hurt my feelings. And she was like, you an effing? I was like, really? Really? Y'all are over the age of 30 and y'all sit at the top calling each other retards? Stop it. At least be a little bit more classy and say botard. Hello, that's beyond retarded. <laughs> as I was watching the whole beef between Evelyn and Jen as they were talking and going back and forth, I couldn't help but become, get the wish factor all of a sudden because Evelyn looked at Jen as Jen was all emotional and was talking and she just said to her, Evelyn, I'm gonna need you to bring it down before I punch you in your mother sucking face. I'm so sorry, but friend, foe, ho, blow, whoever you are, I wish a mother sucker would tell me in a calm voice, in my face, in my eye, you look me dead in my eye and tell me that I need to calm down, you gonna punch me in my face? I dare you. Double dog, triple dog, dare you punch me. You ball up your fist. You ain't gonna get too far. You not, cause I'm, I ain't gonna talk about it, cause y'all know I'm saved. You know, Ash Wednesday done started, you know, gotta give up something, I'm giving up road rage. No, for real. Oh, we're not going to get on that. But seriously, I wish your mother sucker would. But that just lets you know. Jen, she don't want none. She says she ghetto, but she not ghetto. She only ghetto is she behind Evelyn, like having Evelyn's back. But in front of Evelyn, she ain't too ghetto. I was actually surprised that Shawnee, big old pimp, and Tammy finally tried to talk some sense into the girls. But everybody faced when they were, when Jen and Evelyn go back and forth, everybody was like, they didn't know what to say. And how was Susie? Nothing. That was the quietest I've ever seen Susie in the whole 18 seasons they had. She ain't never that quiet. Ever? Ever, ever? Never. Is it me or do y'all see it in Ev's face? Like Evelyn is looking Jen in her face. Y'all know that look that y'all give somebody when you want to punch them for real in their face? Y'all know that look for real. She just giving her that look like... Jen is over there. What do you want? I don't understand. Evelyn's like, like I feel like she's focusing right in on the spot. Like, you know what? I want to hit you right at the arch of your eyebrow. Like, maybe there or right at the top. Somewhere. I'm going to punch you. That's going to be a good spot. Like, that eye starting to twitch and everything. Evelyn want to punch her. It's sad. It's a sad day in Jen. Jen Evelyn. Jen Ev. Sad. Was I the only one that got teary-eyed? I felt so bad for Jen. Because Evelyn said straight up, I don't want her friendship. She can boot in school. And I was like, dang, that's a cold game. And then as um, Jen started crying, she looked at her and she was like, once you take them crocodile tears to your publicist, boo. I was like, ooh. And even Tammy said, you a mean old bitch. You all mean. Why are you so mean? Your teeth are too pretty for that. I mean, I'm not saying that pe people with bad teeth should be evil, but you wrong. That girl crying for your friendship, but I get it. After a while, I'm sorry. Like, come on, y'all. 15 years or not. It's it's just so much you can take for a person, especially if you knowing that this person is saying that stuff. It's just so much. And 
after a while, yeah, you just have to weed out the bad. Even if the bad has been in your life for 15 years. That's true, T. Oh, I can't even open my other eye. As I sat there and watched the previews of what's happening, my mouth was open the whole time. I was like, oh, oh, oh. It was so much drama. And sure enough, Keisha Country ass is in some stuff. And then with Tammy, Tamala, girl, you finna get punched in your face. I don't know when it's happening. Woo. And then, God, dog, I had already seen a preview of when, I think that's supposed to be Evelyn's um, assistant, when she went over there and told Jen she needed to get slapped. And before she can respond, she slapped the shit. Whew. I'm sorry. I would have picked up that whole marble table and tried to kill her. Mark. Huh, with it. And I'm sorry, you're just not going to get far because the hand that you slapped me with, I'm going to grab your hand and we're we going to do something. I don't know which one of these fingers, but somebody, one of them, something going to be gone. Like that girl, like you heard it. That was not the boom. It wasn't the speakers. It wasn't the microphone. It was a true pop in the face. And Jen, she got it. It's a good thing she had in that good weave because it kind of had a cushion on her face, but she still got it real good. And then Evelyn jumping on tables and stuff. It's going to be bad. But in Evelyn's face, she's like, but I'll see you every time I see you. I was like, ooh, girl. It was almost like a Sophia, Miss Seeley episode. You going to do right by me. Like, it was, ooh, it was too tense for me. I was like, ooh, I got to stay tuned. I'm nervous. But anyway, Sucker Mother Love was y'all. I'm going to have to start doing reviews on this because, baby. Them girls about to go in for real. I ain't even sure how long they're in New York, but it don't even matter. Y'all heard Susie tell it, uh, uh, Royce when she first said, it's the most clothes I ever seen you in. Stop hating on that girl because she be wearing her kids' clothes. Whatever. Anyway, suck them up, us. Until next time. Who Miami. Y'all stay with the drama so we can have stuff to talk about. I guess y'all gonna break up over my blog, too. This is not a blog. This is a vlog. Same difference. Whatever the case. <laughs> I'm out. What do you want, Evelyn? A plucking apology? <laughs>